Did you try it? I did not. I was there when right after it first opened, and they had all kinds. Basically, they have all kinds of wild game. Yeah, that's and awesome. Um, I was just gonna let them talk, Melody, and see what kind of tacos he was talking about. Well, there's a, a a place called Taco Fusion in South Tampa that serves wild. They they serve regular tacos, but they also have wild game meat tacos. And one of the things that made the news this week is the fact they started um, offering lion meat tacos. Like real, like real lion. And they um, have beaver well, we were, tacos. Watch your mouth. We were, um, we, were talking, we were talking about that we could have a Hakuna Matata Furtada taco at, uh, <laughs> at Taco Fusion. But, uh, yeah, so, so there was a bunch of outrage about, oh, you're, you're having not an endangered but really, really close to endangered animal. And we're like, yeah, but it's taco. <laughs> it's got salsa and guacamole. Don't you understand? It's protected if it's in a lovely blanket of burrito. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, ev the, everyone watching at home is completely confused because this is hi. not a typical kitchen party Good opening. Fear. Oh, it's yeah. not? No, Sorry, for no. nine we minutes we have been waiting. First open and they had all kinds. Basically, they have all kinds. Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah. Feedback. Woo. Okay. Oh, I thought that was just me drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Ever have a flashback and you're not really drinking? This is <laughs> okay, Woo! so we're, we're going to start this over. <laughs> are, you, are we live? Are you, we are for live. Those you, for those of you who watch every single week, you know that kitchen party usually starts off where we're normal. And we are having a conversation and we welcome you. But we've been waiting for about 10 minutes to go live and waiting for Google to actually like activate our chat. So we have already started drinking. I want you to know, what is everyone drinking tonight? Double Decca. What? Wow, what the hell is, is that? Wine? It's wine. It's wine. It's, it's a bus and a it's wine. It's a bus. <laughs> I'm drinking bus wine. <laughs> God, she drinks the like official the wine of Matt. She <laughs> drinks the official wine of Mass Transit. <laughs> You need a paper bag over it. <laughs> Every stop is her stop. <laughs> Jeff, you are so quick. It's it's it almost is. like mine. It's, it hurts my it's mind. It's the beer, Babette. It's the beer. Wait, that's so you're you're even that's moonshine. Yeah. No, 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 that's no. Moonshine. We, we drink out of ball jars here, mason jars in your part of the world. Ball jars in my part of the world. <laughs> See, it says B A L L. My part of the world. I live. Forty-five minutes from you. That's what I mean. <laughs> I live in the right side. Oh man! How's life on the farm? Hey, look, we have a guest. Babette, would you like to introduce our guest? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, let me let me just start. I want to make sure our co-hosts just introduce themselves really quickly, and then we're going to introduce our guest. Since we've already started drinking and we're doing this completely backwards, I'm just gonna start with Jaden anyway. <laughs> Jaden Hare is the amazing cookbook author, spokesperson, chef. Uh, I don't know what Jaden doesn't do, but whatever she does, it is Laundry. always. Oh, you forgot. Is you I forgot want. farmer. Farmer, farmer. Uh, chickens. I don't know what else you have. Ducks. You, I think your husband just like got a trout or something like that. Like he just. Excuse me. Yeah, he's building aquaponics. Aquaponics. Crazy. Aquaponics. Aquaponics. Crazy. Well, if you guys are fans, <laughs> if you guys are fans of SteamyKitchen.com, then you are in for a real aquaponics. treat tonight. Do you see how they're not letting me do the show? No. They are renegades. <laughs> so, Jaden, do you want to really quickly just kind of like give us an overview of um, a little bit about your background and as an introduction, and then we'll go to Jeff and Renee. <laughs> Sure. You know what's really funny about this chat thing is that I have a camera on my computer and I really, for me to have eye contact with you, I have to look at that little dot. But it's not yes. natural because my eye just wants to look at myself. <laughs> <laughs> this is so unnatural. Anyways, um, I'm just <laughs> This is my new book. Yay! Yay. Kitchen, healthy Asian favorites. Um, it's published published by Ten Seed Press. And I think you need to hold it up more. Hold it up more oh, so really? people can actually see it. Hold it closer. Hold it closer. Hold it closer. Now move your face. There you go. Well, I can't see! No, I know. It's temporary. <laughs> Healthy Asian Favorites is the name of the book, and I can attest to the fact that I have read the book, and it is a wonderful book. 
Thank you very much. You're I've welcome. been blogging for six years. I feel like, has it been six years? Yes, it has. And Jeff is a very good friend of mine because he gave me my first shot at, um, a, you know, having a major news publication actually recognize my existence. And ever since then, my career has just been amazing. It's just been growing so much, so fast, and um, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Credit so you too, if you affiliate yourself with the Tampa Tribune, will live this kind of life. Yes. Be this happy. Joy runs this through happy, the Tampa Tribune. Right? Joy runs through. Joy runs through Tampa Tribune. Can I quote you on that? Subscribe to the um, I have it tattooed right <laughs> in your armpit. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, um, so now uh, my family, we live on this five acre plot of land with a beautiful pond and <laughs> stocked with tons of fish. We've got chickens, we've got ducks. I'm putting a fence in when um, when I get back from Alaska. Jeff, I'm going to Alaska. Um, and we're going to buy a sh sheep, alpaca, maybe a pig, oh. and rabbits. And my goal is to actually s butcher one of those animals and eat it. I don't know if I, I can actually do it. I think if the rap group PM Don were here, they would say, baby, you send me. <laughs> you see my face? As a vegetarian, I'm like... As a vegetarian, I'm, right? I'm, I'm thinking like Bambi. I was actually going to suggest, I was going to say, go to, after Easter, go to the pound. There are like a million bunnies that are like looking for homes. After I know, like and they're so tasty. Oh, my yeah, you, you, know how you, you know how you go around... You go around Bunny Corner and all the all the bunnies have little signs like I'm homeless, give me a carrot. You know, <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, oh, well there, tasty, the, you know, tasty, there's probably tasty. a lot more there's a lot more meat eaters, I think, than vegetarians. Possibly. I'm not sure. I mean that maybe actually in different parts of the country, I'm talking about the US. We are a very meat centric company uh, country. <laughs> so I applaud that. I applaud that. Uh, I don't tell me which animal you eat. That's all I don't want to know that. Right. You know, I don't know if I can blog about it. I don't know if I have the balls to blog about slaughtering. Jeff, if you come Watch have you ever done mouth. what? Ha have you ever slaughtered an animal? <clears throat> Do I have to confess it now? It? No, like a chicken or I would rather talk about healthy Asian yeah, recipes. Right? Okay, why are we talking <laughs> about <laughs> slaughtering <laughs> rabbits? <laughs> I would like, like to uh, I would like to talk about Asian Chinese secrets. Let's do that. <laughs> Ancient Chinese secret. So, Jeff uh -huh. and Renee, do you guys want to introduce yourself real quick? Just so the folks who are tuning in for the first time of Kitchen Party. Also, use the hashtag Kitchen Party on Twitter or follow us on our YouTube channel, also on Google+. I'll go. Uh, my name is Renee Lynch. I'm a writer and editor at the LA Times, and I write across a number of sections, including food and entertainment. And I'm Jeff Houck. I'm the food writer of the Tampa Tribune and blogger at TBO.com. And um, I'm just really glad to be here because Jaden's one of my favorite people. Aww. You're one of my favorite people. Aww. My so kids me. love you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last time I saw your child, I thought he was going to come home with me in the truck because, you know, he, he, was, not, uh, he was treating me he like a jungle you. gym. <laughs> he has daddy issues. I, I still have the neck strain. <laughs> yeah, well, I ain't the daddy. <laughs> Hey, so Jeff, yeah. I, I know you know a lot about, like, Jaden's background. Uh, yeah. Renee, I don't know how much you know about Jaden's background. Do uh, Should we start kind of a little bit of some backstory of, like, how, how that actually, yeah, I would love that. how she started the I blog. I so that, enjoy that. Yeah, those of you who are just yeah. tuning in, or those of you who are big fans and who are like, how did she get this way? Um, and this is kind of like a little bit of the backstory. So, Jaden, do you want to tell us a little the bit about the evolution? Yeah. Um, how, did, how did she get this way? In the beginning of time, <laughs> no, um, six years ago, I no, actually it was seven years ago, um, we had just moved here to Bra Bradenton, Florida from San Francisco, and you know how amazing San Francisco is with the, the culinary scene and, and all the wonderful restaurants and uh, very, very small restaurants that, are, um, that specialize in just one type of food. Well, I was used to that because I lived... Sorry. <laughs> I love, I love how, 
I love how the video goes right to the person who's responsible. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry about that. My dogs are nuts. Um, please, please continue. I will. Um, we had just moved to Florida because we wanted something different. We wanted to live in more than like a thousand square foot of cramped space with walls this thin and our neighbors who were drug dealers, you know, this far away from each other. Um, and, and across the street was this this pizza parlor that was downstairs and then upstairs had curtains and you know the pizza place was a front for whatever was happening upstairs so that's where we lived I'm like there's this is no place to raise kids and so we moved to Florida and um, now, I was Florida? at this rest what why Florida oh gosh well my husband bought excuse me while I go get it me a map I still have it this is bought me a map and said, where do you want to live? And so I picked, and this is laminated, it's plastic. Um, I picked, you see the dots, the dots are still there. Okay, Guatemala, Costa Rica, the Canary Islands, Morocco, Portugal. I had all these places I wanted to live. And you were almost, uh, you were almost steamy cochina. <laughs> map away from me and he's like oh, okay I wasn't expecting that um, let's just choose um, a map of the US and we did the same thing and I had a map of the US and we picked all these different places that we thought we might want to live and just the process of elimination led us to surrounded by water always good weather and um, you know affordable so we ended up in Florida so anyways we we're in Florida in this little tiny town and I go to this um, restaurant and it was called Peking Tokyo and actually it was called Bangkok Tokyo I'm sorry Bangkok Tokyo and um, someone was in there and she's like on her cell phone at the sushi bar and she's talking to her friends um, meet me at the Chinese restaurant I'm having sushi and I just thought that was just so strange I'm like where am I welcome to and, Florida yeah welcome to Florida and that's when I decided I was going to do something about it and um, started teaching cooking classes I, I had no absolutely no background in um, culinary skills other than I know how to cook I know how to feed people really that's it I know how to feed people and I know how to make delicious food so I started the food blog as a way for my students at the cooking school that I taught once a month to um, remember the recipes and that's how Steamy Kitchen started. It really was nothing other than uh, there were only a handful of people reading the blog. I didn't, you know, I really didn't even call it a blog then. I thought, just go to steamykitchen.com and I've got all the recipes there if you need them. And that's really how it started. And then I just fell in love with the community and I became just really part of the blogging community. And then, um, and it, everything just kind of happened so fast. If I, everyone always asks me, if you started it all over again right now, would you be able to achieve the same type of success so fast? And and I always say, absolutely. You, I mean, there, new technology happens all the time. I'm, I mean, this is we're on Google Plus right now. I mean, when Google, where was Google Plus five years ago? And and you know, where was Twitter five years ago? I mean, it, things change so fast, and the the. Um, it, as long as you are producing good content which means in my world, in the blogging world, you know, recipes that work, um, entertaining, useful, um, you know, it's, you'll, it's not, it's not as hard as, you know, trying to get a, a book deal or a TV show from, you know, starting from scratch. Blogging just is a natural extension of, of who you are and what you talk about and, and, and things that you want to share. You know, we started Bake Space uh, six years ago, and I, I, what you said hits it a nail on the head. It's like you can be as successful if you would have started now versus then. And I think the blogging tools and just SEO, like things that are naturally like geared towards traffic, you know, understanding Pinterest, understanding community. Um, I think there's it's much easier to spread that message now than before, where you'd have to like. Come and check it out. Come find yeah. me. Um, but you're, I think the difference now is that you really have to be stellar in one topic, like something right. that really stands out. If you're just yeah. all over the place, you know. I mean, you you do an amazing job, but 
when you think about it, some of the top people have like there's something that makes them truly unique. It's a laser-like focus on one, mm -hmm. the, the narrower your focus, the more successful you'll be. And it seems really strange, um, you know, business people will always say to me, that. but then your market is so small if you narrow too small. But I think that there's so many people talking about food that you have to be the very best at, at, at one thing. Be the best at that one thing. And if you're the very best at one thing, you'll, you'll get noticed. The thing that I think Jaden is uh, not omitting for any other reason than just there's a lot to talk about is that when she was first starting, it was really the start of when food blogging was taking off. And it was, um, it was kind of an open field at the time and people were able to, kind of spread out and, and claim some territory. And now it's much, much, much more crowded, much more niche driven. But, uh, but Jaden was able to, uh, I, I give her total and complete props for staying true to what her brand was and knowing what her brand was and, and not straying because I, I saw a lot of people kind of get away from their original plan and Jaden stayed fast and true to it and it served her very well no matter what platform she was on whether it was Twitter whether it was on her blog whether it was doing video or TV or whatever um, and there really was you know a lot of people like they just hug up on the electronic side of things and they don't they don't take into consideration what you can get if you cozy up to your newspaper or call your local TV station and see if you can do a demo that sort of thing and she is masterfully uh, demoed and, uh, and and leveraged all of her, her local and national connections. I remember emailing you for the first time and calling yeah. you for the first time and, you know, just pitching. And Did he take okay, your call sure. the first time? Did, did, Actually, were you like <laughs> uh, I emailed him, sent him some information, like, a, like a, a few paragraphs about myself and what I've been doing, and he said, sure, let's chat. And, and I, I think I brought you food. Well, what you was came over for dinner. <laughs> No, what it was was I can tell you exactly what it was. I had seen you. You're bribable. Well, obviously, but the but originally what it was, and this is a lesson I think to a lot of bloggers is I had seen her in an alternative magazine, and I'd read like two of her columns, and I thought, okay, that's a different voice. And so when she emailed me, I was like, is this like a mass emailing? What is this? I couldn't figure it out, and I finally read it, and I was like, yeah. And and when I went to her blog, I was blown away by the photography. And so I thought, where's my entry point here? So I wound up doing a story on her about how you do photography for your blog. And this was, this was before Pinterest and Instagram and before iPhones and all that before stuff. Before Twitter. Before yeah. Twitter. And, and, it, and what I found was she was making spectacularly beautiful photos, well-sculpted, crafted, art-directed photos. For on her ottoman in her living room, with, <laughs> with with a piece of white foam board that would bounce the light from her patio, and I'm like, I, I I'm embarrassed that I didn't figure this out. <laughs> and and what was great was I was able to write a story that kind of passed that along and show, okay, there's a way for you to find an entry point into the food blogging world with you know, and great. She did have a nice camera. She lived in a beautiful house. She had great looking food. Not everybody has great looking food. If you're going to do a Polish blog, I don't know that you can really pull off pierogies.com. <laughs> but she had beautiful food. She styled it perfectly. Go buy now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. GoDaddy.com. But anyway, it, it was uh, it, that was the entry point, and it kind of blew up from there. And then and then uh, the the response to the to the story was so strong that. I suggested that she uh, start doing a column for the Tribune, and it just sort of builds like that. And I think a lot of bloggers don't don't get that; they don't understand that there. It's a lot of small steps that add up to bigger and bigger things. Jaden, can you talk a little bit about that? How did you even know to do that, and and were you at all intimidated by that process? Because I think that's a that's a challenging process for somebody to go through. You know, one of my nicknames is Daredevil Diva, so. From that name, you can deduce that I don't get scared off of many things and that I'm, I think, very much of my, <laughs> a lot of myself. Um, I was not scared, but I knew that what, what set me up for being able to contact Jeff was that I started with the local newspaper that threw the, the free newspaper in your, on your driveway and then you just don't even read it and you throw it away. I started there. And I called them up and I'm like, hey, do you want a free recipe once a month? I'll give you a free recipe once a month, and I can write. Come here, come say hi. 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 It's Nathan. Hey, mate. How are you? Ice cream. 
<laughs> Do you remember Mr. Jeff? You were tickling him. Yes, you were. I had to throw you over you my shoulder. You remember him? You were you. wrestling with him. Oh, and here's this one. Here's this His one. His middle name Hi. is Precocious. Hi. What are you guys doing? Good times. What are they drinking? Yeah, they've got a popsicle. What do you have? Ice cream and popsicle. Nice. I should have. I should have picked yeah. that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and so I called the little local local paper, and I got my practice writing for an editor with mm -hmm. them, and then um, a little tiny tiny tiny. Um, news station, ABC affiliate, and I got my practice on television with them. You know, it was so small that no one ever watched it because it was like at 4 a.m. <laughs> Nobody watched it. So that's where I got my practice from. You know, well, Jamie, you know oh, I was going to say, Jeff, that's a great example. It, when people hear about opportunities that happen at 4 a.m., a lot of people who are not risk takers will just go, oh, nobody's going to watch that. Oh, I'm a little exactly. nervous. I don't want to do it. Opportunity always leads to more opportunity. So mm -hmm. I commend you for that. That's awesome. Time of day. So I, I, you know, my advice is that is that you follow what she did. And wherever you can get access, get access. Like nowadays, I get lots of people say, hey, I have free recipes and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but w what about it is unique? You know, nobody yeah. really sees to understand how to, ta how to tailor that message. Right. That's totally hey, guys, on Twitter, we got some folks listening in. I just want to give a shout out. Uh, Jody Fritch on Twitter uh, gave a preview of the sparkling sidecar. And I have to admit, Jody, I went to go grocery shopping to go buy everything. I bought it. I, I do not feel well today, so I could not make myself an alcoholic beverage. Of course, I'm drinking a Coca-Cola, so I don't think that's better, but the carbonation for some reason. There's a lot of people. You know, wait, but I made the sidecar. I oh, made Renee, the sidecar, how is it, Renee? Which is unbelievable. I've never had one before. It is delicious. And I'm serving it in um, a hillbilly highball glass. Look at that. <laughs> Is that's, that from Miss Jenkins? Yes, it is from Miss Jenkins. Thank you so much. For this. That's it awesome. arrived today. That's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you. Uh, it is Melissa, so good. Melissa Taylor, dessert chick on Twitter, says, "Yay, I'm here for a kitchen party." Uh, did someone say lion meat tacos? Yes, lion we did. meat tacos. That's the microphone. Yeah. Uh, Sandy McKenna is also logged in. What's up, Sandy? What's up? Um, she says she loves hanging out with the posse every week. And then Mel Melissa Taylor said, Steamy Kitchen is so wrong, she's right. <laughs> I was like, that's all right. Gray-haired lady is also that was, tuned in. It must be the lion tacos. <laughs> <laughs> and then Dats for Foodies also on Twitter. We love Dats. Woo! Um, Woo! Also said, where yeah. was Twitter five years ago? I hate to think about the dark that dark time in our history. <laughs> and then Isabel Foodie, family foodie, who runs an amazing uh, Sunday dinner Isabel. chat on Twitter. Which Isabel, do me a favor, put the hashtag for your Sunday dinner. I think it's Sunday supper. Sunday supper. Sunday supper. Sunday supper. Um, enjoying listening to Steamy Kitchen on Kitchen Party. Be the best at one thing. That is true. Um, and then Sandy McKenna also <coughs> says, "Have laser focus. Must be the very." best at one thing and you'll get noticed and then Excuse me, Babette. yep just so people are watching uh, Twitter's having some kind of belching problem at the moment so we'll get to everybody once it kind of clears up but I just want to oh. let them know that we're aware of that oh yeah okay. well you know it's weird too in in our because we usually follow the chat within the hangout and we like add the links and it automatically gets fed and I was like where are the people I don't understand where are we where, where are the people here and it has not updated in like 17 minutes. So then yeah. I actually had to go to Twitter and look. So I'm going to go to the Google page as well. Um, everything's everything's kind of barfing right now. Yeah, this is the internet, man. The internet. So it's it, party bringing down the house. <laughs> 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 bringing down the internet. Yeah. Kitchen nation. Kitchen Wait, nation. Bobber, time out, Jeff. Yes. What are you bouncing on. What do you mean? You look like oh, oh my! Oh my! My stupid laptop's on, a, on an uneven table. I'm sorry. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you I'm not, are the one bouncing. I'm not sitting on like an exercise ball or something. It's like, hey, I know him. Hey. Oh, that would be so good if you were. <laughs> you guys, you know what I realized is, um, I realized just now that I had 
people that I knew on Twitter, I didn't have all. So I just want to go through a couple of names just to make sure we get all the folks. Um, uh, shit food blogger on Twitter. Look for me on Kitchen Party. Really? What was that name? Look for me at Kitchen Party. I'll play the role oh, of the drunk horrible like, person that will never leave. She said what? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I think I think we've had some people go into our hashtag. Um, Deborah Bowen, <laughs> Disney Deborah, wondering Yay! if the food geek will be joining the fun with Steamy Kitchen and the devilish jaunt, jaunty Jeff. I'm not even going to say your last name. <laughs> Wait. I always Why mess it up. This? Tonight on Kitchen Party. <laughs> uh, Jody Fritch also had a few more tweaks. For Michelle what? Jenkins. Mitch Jenkins on Twitter um, has oh, also God. tuned in. Uh, Mama Caruso, one on Twitter. Oh, Chef God. Veggie, which is Veggie Bites on Twitter, also tuned in. Um, Yummy Vor. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to take up all of our time, but I just want to make no, sure. No, we want to say hello to everybody. Yes. Absolutely. We and love Twitter's them. back. Twitter, Twitter's back up, by the way. Back. Oh man, you're heavy. And also, Mama Caruso <laughs> did a tweet again about opportunities makes more opportunities. That's right. Pull up a chair. So here. cool. So if you guys have any questions, and no, what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do a cookbook giveaway oh. and a T-shirt giveaway at some point during the show. And the Wait, way can I show the T-shirt? Hold yes. on. Keep calm and walk on, baby! Woo! Love that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a giveaway that if you call, if you call the, the first person to call on our hotline, which is our, um, which is, what is that called? Our Skype line, uh, is going to win that. So wait, keep, keep waiting for the number. This is going to force people to call. Oh, Melody put the number up. So it's 310 601 Four zero one seven, and just remember—that's your this, home number, isn't it? No, like, <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> just, just remember, call anytime. If this, if this is not like the radio. We're like you call in and you get put on hold, and then like you know we come to you when we're ready. This is like you call, we click on it, and you're live. So just know that well, we're still working it. out the details. <laughs> we're not sure how this works, but we're we're gonna make it happen. Um, so. <laughs> Before before folks you know I'll rush the phone line. Um, do we want to talk about how you went from blog to cookbook and that kind of transition of like you know I think a lot of bloggers have an aspirational um, you know they they all want to have a cookbook but how how did that happen? Hey, qu quick question here. If I unplug my headphones, yeah, what will happen? You'll stop hearing us. No, but unplug it so that it goes <laughs> yeah. to the speaker, so that my kids can be a part of this. Let's try. Like, what are they saying? Are they talking about us? I'm Let's feeling really it. weird drinking drinking around your children. I got to tell you, this, this is going to really cut off my intake. I do it intake. every night. Don't worry. Let's just try okay. it. Let's it, just try it. Okay, we'll try it. that. And then also, so okay. you guys know, on YouTube, we have Jesse Burdett also tuned in, watching you all bouncing on. So <laughs> thank you, Jesse. Thank you. This is, I'm on a bopper, so. He's on a bopper. <laughs> okay. He's on a bouncer. He's on a bouncy chair. I'm on one of those Bounce. Bounce. Should have been here last week. We were I doing know. Criss -cross. <laughs> We were doing what? Crisscross, Nikki. Oh. Jump, jump, hip hop, sing. Jump, you, jump. You missed it, Bobette. It was wiggity, wiggity, wiggity. No, 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 no. I was here last <laughs> week. I wasn't here the week before. Oh, okay. Well, Renee, then you <laughs> <didn't> remember. <laughs> You know, oh. you need to drink more, my friend. You need to drink more. So let's, let's talk about the cookbook and how that started. Yeah, you know, the first cookbook was really easy. Um, within six months of Steamy Kitchen, I got a book deal from a very small hey, can you do that? A very small publisher called Tuttle, and they specialized in Asian cooking. But the reason why they found me was through the Tampa Tribune. They saw one of my. Um, Somebody saw one of my columns, and her sister worked for Tuttle. So she's like, you need to contact Steamy Kitchen and offer her a book deal. And that's how it happened. So they contacted me, and it took me literally, um, it took me six months to actually, from the point of contact to signing the contract, contact, because I wanted to do my own photography. Just like, you know, I was so adamant about it. Like, it would be so unnatural if I hired a photographer to um, shoot the book because on the blog, it's, you know, me, myself, and I. And um, so it took me six months of practice before they said, okay, your photography is good enough to 
uh, to be in a cookbook. And then it took me, it took me a while. It took me eight months to write the book. And then it, you know, took time to edit and to print and to um, distribute. And the second cookbook is with 10 Speed, and I love their team. And I was able to sign on with a bigger Whee. publisher because of the first book. So I considered my first book a marketing tool. I don't care if I ever make a cent on that. Um, in fact, I, here's the secret. I don't, I shouldn't say this. I hope no publishers are listening. But I really don't care if I make a cent on my books because that's not my, that's not the money bags. Um, money bags is the blog because I have no editor. I don't have to get anything approved. I don't have to have a proposal approved for me to make money. So I consider my books and anything external as a marketing tool for steamykitchen.com. May I have a you question? Have, you have a question? Yeah. Okay. No. I, you know, what I wanted to say, Babette, is that uh, one of the things that Jaden latched onto very early on that I think a lot of people also could model is the, the power of photography. And she is really kind of, ha she has a sub niche within the, um, within the whole food blogging thing uh, in terms of, um, of the photography on her site and being networked in with some really stellar photographers who developed along with her in their own right. Uh, and I'm thinking of uh, the White on Rice crew uh, mm -hmm. who do fantastic, uh, fantastic work. And I know we, they've been at Tech Munch in Las Vegas uh, with us. Yeah, we're actually going to have them at Kitchen Party, I think, uh, closer to when their book comes out. Yeah, and, and I think cool. it's another another thing where, um, you know, bloggers can find their own comfort level on certain, on certain topics and certain techniques. And that was one way that she really kind of stood out was the, the, the way that her photography constantly improved. Um, and I, and Jaden, if I'm not wrong, uh, are, don't you have a, a studio set up at your house? I do. Now I do. Um, but it really, the studio is a, it used to be a garage and it's converted into my photo studio. I basically have one giant table that I do all my photo shoots on and then I have racks and racks and racks of dishes. Different dishes and different um, fabrics. And because, also, um, mommy has an assistant and she really... And she you gotta get in the camera. And she sometimes doesn't do her job. <gasps> oh! <laughs> like, I, I do it. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hey, you know what? All all good assistants need a manager. <laughs> assistants I saw cannot I work on their own. No, no more. From the <laughs> what does mommy no, eat no, for junk no, food? No, right, right. It's it's about what are, uh, is it? If somebody makes a noise, it'll go to them. Hey yeah. Nathan. Hey Nathan. What's mommy's credit card number? Shut up. <laughs> I don't know that. Hey, they need to go to bed, Scott. No, I don't. <laughs> hey, Nathan. Good night. Does mommy hey, chew her, ma her food with her mouth open? Four, seven. Hey. <laughs> Get out of here. Good night. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll, I don't know what dad's like. What? <laughs> Get out of here. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? Hey, what's up, Scott? I'm going to drag it's these kids away. Day. Come on. Let's go. Oh, they're the head of the party. Trust me. They need one to be like there, and the other one is like the Wrangler. You know. I think James is going to be in the market for a new assistant tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, we've changed already, so okay. we're good. Okay. We're no good. ice cream. No ice cream for her. <laughs> so to change the subject. Uh, what were we talking about? Okay, so we talked about the cookbook. Now, how, like, oh, oh you went well, to the I second cookbook. I know what I wanted to say. To touch on what Jeff said about photography, you have to remember that the internet is one sense. You're talking about visual only. Now we've got video. You, I, every recipe that I publish now has a video, like a short how-to video. So it's um, visual purely visual some auditory but you know you got to amp up your 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 site to appeal to the visual element hey, it looks like we have a phone call coming in this will be interesting <laughs> hello it's my assistant hey it's Melissa oh hey, hey. How are you? so you won I'm behind on the video oh hold on a second melody has to turn your audio up a little bit 
Hold on, what's that? And then after we'll do the phone call, we have a question from YouTube. Melissa? Can you hear us? Yes. Where, where are you calling in from? Oh, Tampa. Oh, Tampa. Tampa's in the house. Tampa's in the house. Welcome, so, welcome. Thanks for calling us. I know that we just said you had to call to win, but do you have a question as well so that, that we can we can utilize your brilliance? Um, Think of something fast. No question. <laughs> T talk, tell us about Kitchen Party. What makes you come back every week? Oh, um, the drinking game. No. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love how our reputation kind of, you know, <laughs> it's like food. Oh, maybe drinking. Hey. Yeah. Let's take it. Let's take it and run with it. Let's take it and go. It's uh, hanging out with like-minded people, talking about food and and. Occasionally drinking when someone uses an accent, you know. <laughs> it's <fun>. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done an accent in a while, a real I accent. We, I say we drink to that right now. Cheers. I'm drinking to it. Oh, I'm, I'm like, I've awesome. run out. You and your Coke. Coke. That's so sad. <laughs> Actually, I ran out of gin and tonic last night, and then, and no, I was not drinking by myself. Um, and then I have a bottle of wine, but since I'm... Here by myself, I don't want to open a bottle of wine and then be seduced Here. into drinking Put it all. Your glass. Come Aww. on. <laughs> Get some of that double there backer. You go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My sidecar is out. Joey's you're empty. Oh, you're is amazing. empty too. Here. Here. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. I'm like Hello. three sips away from going all drunk uncle on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. Hey, do you, do you ever make uh, Asian cuisine? No, I don't, and uh, I I wouldn't know the first thing actually. Oh, awkward. Hey, <laughs> hey Jaden. Like Jaden's cookbook. Yeah, what advice do you have now you for? Will. You will get one of will. these. Yeah. <laughs> and now you will. Uh, you know what? You can cook rice in the microwave, which is actually what I do now. I I, I don't use my rice cooker as much now. I cook uh, rice in the microwave because it only it takes less time. I, Twelve minutes for two cups of rice, and I'm. <laughs> <laughs> See, I actually buy the frozen rice. <laughs> no, no, no. Let me let me tell you a lesson I learned from Jaden. Okay, I have a I have a rice steamer at home, and she taught me to put uh, uncooked eggs in with the rice, you know, wash them off first, but then put them in the, with the rice or put something like kielbasa or something else in with the rice so it cooks sausage. at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. I love that. That's really smart. Um, and it, it's so easy and stir fries are inc actually incredibly healthy because, um, it only uses a tablespoon of oil and you're cooking enough to feed four people. So it, it, it's a lot healthier than what people think because at a lot of the Chinese American restaurants where you get like fried everything with the same goopy sauce, um, there's way to sell so it. many more ways to <laughs> <laughs> I said way to sell it. As a goopy sauce. As a goopy sauce. No, I'm selling a healthier way, not the know, restaurant yeah. way. No, I know. I would rather there's so food. many better ways to cook Asian food than you know what you have at the restaurants. I think people have an idea of Asian food as being like you have to have a wok the size of like a satellite dish, and you have to you know have all these exotic ingredients, and it's simply not true. And anybody uh, like I, when I've when I've had dinner at your house, you know, it's it's as simple as you know uh, a, a hot plate or or like a, a griddle that a you're grill. The, like grill a, the grill outside the grill. And the, or a and saute the, pan. Yeah, on the porch, you know, on the grill, and and it's not this exotic thing that people get all hung up about. Not about, at all. Well, I don't have a spider kind of handle cooker thing. Um, it's not that way at all, and you really kind of kind of schooled me on that. Hey, M Melissa, I want to make sure that we get to you how you're going to get your your prizes. Uh, you're going to send me a tweet, or you're going to email me, and I'm going to then get your address. So you can email me or at the best. Or easier, just email oh. me directly. Great idea. Great. Will, will you sign a copy for her? 
Oh, absolutely. Um, Jaden at steamykitchen.com. Just email me and I'll send you a copy. Just so you know, that's on the web forever. <laughs> In case you get spammed. Do you know one time I tweeted my phone number? <gasps> I did. What happened? I, I meant to DM somebody and like it was just a space. All I was missing was a space. And I ended up tweeting the whole universe. My phone number. Did you and change I got your all number? All sorts of funky tweets, like "Ha ha, I got your phone." Nothing obscene or anything. <laughs> well, let me work on that. Did okay. a lot of people call? Yeah. No, <laughs> not call. Tweet. Um. Uh. Texted. Texted. Hey, I didn't guys. get a single phone call, but I got tons of text messages. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Literate spammers. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse Burdett on YouTube wants to know what is, and this is basically, he said it's a, or she, I'm not sure if it's a he or she, but I think it's a he, um, wants to know your favorite thing to cook and also group questions. So anyone can really answer, but obviously let's start with Jaden. My favorite thing to cook in the whole wide world are my mom's recipes. There's two things. There's Chinese egg rolls and there's fried rice. There, we make that all the time, and the egg rolls are, the egg roll recipes actually, uh, both of the recipes are on steamykitchen.com, but my mom makes the best, 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 best Chinese egg rolls, and What's the secret? Rice, I, the secret is having, uh, oh, the, God, there's a lot, the right wrapper that you buy at an Asian market instead of at a regular grocery store, um, and making sure that your filling is properly seasoned and has very little liquid. Because mm -hmm. the more liquid that the inside of the filling has, then the soggier the egg roll will be. You don't want it soggy, you want crispy. So we actually tilt up the pan and drain all of the liquid before we fill the egg rolls. Oh my God, I'm so the hungry. Fried rice is, there's <laughs> a lot of secrets. There's, um, using day-old rice and cooking the ingredients in the proper order and cooking them separately. My meat gets cooked, taken out. My egg gets cooked, taken out. Uh, you know, things get, and then everything gets put back together like a, like a, I'm going to be very poetic, like a symphony. And you add it back in together all at once at the very end to make the, the grand finale. But um, cooking items separately in fried rice makes sure that you're, bell pepper tastes like bell pepper and that your ground that your meat tastes like meat and not like a mishmash of everything and uh, you know I love making fried rice hey, it looks like we got a phone call coming in I, I bet you that's Jody Fritch awesome hello, hello? <laughs> I thought since you called me out last week I called it. <laughs> <laughs> hello Jody Jody hi What's up? What's up? How are you? Oh, nice. <laughs> Jody created the official drink of this week's kitchen party, the sidecar. Oh, so good, so good. I love it. I love it. What made you think, Jody, of that of that uh, recipe? What did what? What made you think that recipe for the cocktail? Um, you know, I love cocktails. I do, and. I love wine, and so this was a nice tie-in between something that I really enjoy as a standard cocktail at good bars I go out to, and it was a chance to put some wine in with it. Um, so the champagne, you know, sparkling wine floater on top of it ties the wine in with that. And the only thing better than drinking wine is drinking liquor and wine together. <laughs> That's awesome. true. That's true. <laughs> Tampa representing another Tampa. What is happening? We're, that's like where all the food people are. I'm telling you, all the cool kids come from Tampa. You guys act like it's L.A., but it's really Tampa. <laughs> well, actually, it is L.A., but I'm going to give you that. <laughs> We're nearly like, mm-hmm. Um, well, Jody, this was amazing, and I can tell you I'm adding the sidecar to my repertoire. That was just fantastic. I did not quite know what to expect, but it's awesome. Yeah, it's um, it's a really, it's a really good use of some of my favorite ingredients, so. <laughs> gives me a good excuse to go out and buy a big bottle of brandy, which we use for <laughs> and Grand Marnier is always fantastic. So right, what it's it's brandy, Grand Marnier, brandy, um, Grand Marnier, um, fresh lemon juice, which uh -huh. we had a combination of half and half Meyer lemon juice because we're able to get those right now in Tampa, and um, a little bit of simple syrup, but um, and then with a sparkling wine floater on top of it. 
rolls. Oh. Okay, now now I'm even now I'm thirsty. First I was hungry. Now I'm thirsty. I want I want the egg rolls and that. <laughs> That's like my. That's fried rice. Mm. Hey Jaden, is there a is there a, like a lemon kind of citrusy dish uh, that you can suggest pairing with the sidecar, an Asian dish? Oh, lemon chicken. It's in the cookbook. Boom, kaboom. There what you else? go, lemon chicken. There you go. Oh my gosh, I think we have another phone call. So I don't know if Jody got. Is this the winner of? The no, the first winner is um, Melissa. Is Melissa, dessert chick on Twitter. She's the one who actually won because she was the first one to call. But then Jody, because Jody is awesome, and we called her out last week, she decided to call. But we do have a new call, so I want to make sure if that's new, Melody, or if that's the old call. So if this is a new call, Jody, we love you. We didn't get to say goodbye. Um, the new call, but Jody new call. T-shirt. It's a what? Hello. It's a, it's a new call, but Jody does win a T-shirt. Hey, how's it going? Hey there. Who is this? <laughs> Christina. I'm Chef Veggie Ready. <laughs> oh, hey. Yay. How are Where you? Where are you calling from? I'm doing good. It seems like there's kind of a lag right now between the video and me on the phone. So, um. That's okay. We got all the time in the world. Where, where are you calling in from? I'm calling from Austin, Texas. Woohoo! Austin, ass. Love Austin. We needed to have some not in Florida people. Thank you. I love Austin. I'll be there in June or July for a block her food. You need to go to Tacoba and have Migas for brunch on Sundays, right? Okay. Am I right? Are you all going to block her food? Anyone? Everyone? I might. I I saw that there was going to be a blogger conference, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. But it sounded like it was going to be a lot of fun. But I wanted to I wanted to tell Janin that I love her red hair. <laughs> Thank you. Look, it, my hair is wet because right before a kitchen party, I took a shower and washed my hair. Everyone does that, right? They take a shower right before the party. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Now, why can't you come to block her food? Yeah, I, I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> but it really? like it's Please come. You know what? Will you at least come to our party? Um, Reed Drummond, Elise Bauer, and I are hosting the party. Party, the very last party. Will you come to that? Even well, if you're not going to come coming. to the conference, <laughs> it's on. It's on Saturday. I honestly do not know even what day it is. I think it's on Saturday. Yes. Can you come to that? Yeah, I think. I think. I think I'll try. I I met you and Babette at Tech Munch maybe like two years ago. <laughs> in Austin. Yeah. Yeah, in Austin. Parkside. At Parkside. That's where it was. That was so yeah. much fun. So that was the first tech uh, lunch ever. Email me, yeah. Jaden at steamykitchen.com, and I'll just put you on the guest list. And if you're not signed up for Blogger Food, no worries. Just come and you'll be our guest. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Aww. Oh, she's so cute. I want to just give her a big hug. Love Thank Austin. Thank you so much for calling. Do, Who else do you have to come to our party? Oh. I'm inviting people to our party, and, I, and like, Ree's like, who the heck are these people? <laughs> <laughs> the more the merrier. Hey, Melody, do we still have the caller on? Oh, are you still there? Oh, boy. No, oh. this T-shirt. For those of you who are calling in, make sure you tweet the URL to your blog so that we can check you out. Because now we know you. We want to make sure we support you. Kitchen um, Party Nation, what in the heck is going on? <laughs> That's not Jaden. <laughs> so we only have about like five to ten minutes left, and I want to make sure we get some good cooking tips, um, maybe for some of the folks who are uh, who are tuning in. And I'm, I know we've been talking crazy stuff and drinking and yada, 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 but we should make sure that we provide. If Jaden, if I'm like totally new to like Asian cuisine, and I know you're – Recent cookbook is healthy Asian cuisine. What what makes it healthy? Like, what's the oh, what's good the question? Design? Okay, so I have absolutely no calorie counts. <laughs> <laughs> I I do not have calorie counts in the cookbook because even though it's a healthy cookbook, because I don't believe in calorie counts. I believe in um, a couple things. Using you know the the recipes in the book are use less oil and fat because I showed the proper way of 
um, doing a stir fry, which only uses so little oil if you do it right. Hi, Jeff. What are you Jeff, doing? What are you looking at? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is your house being burglarized? No, no. I just heard something outside. My son's playing basketball in the front yard. Oh my god, that's too funny. Okay, the second thing is um, using meat sparingly, and the the you know stir fries and most almost all Asian cuisine, other than like if you're in Mongolia or any landlocked place, use very very little meat, and meat is used as a flavoring agent or you know just part of a stir fry or as part of a dish, and not the main meal. I mean, you think of a steak. Like a even like a six ounce portion of steak in front of you versus six ounces feeding a family of four with tons of fresh vegetables, and uh, you know the the book is all about making sure that um, you know we communicate Asian food is not about the goopy sauces and deep fried everything. It's it's really a celebration of fresh herbs, fresh spices and vegetables, and very little meat. So that to me that means healthy and, and of course the last thing, the most important thing is having your family at the dinner table and everyone enjoying the food that they're they're having. I mean, what's worse than you cooking something super healthy and no one likes it and you're forcing them to eat it? That to me is not healthy at all. But if you cook at home, use fresh ingredients and limit your fats and limit your meats, um, and everyone loves the flavors, that that's healthy cooking. Are your kids picky? Well, it's, um, Nathan will eat anything and everything. He's my at six months old. He wanted to, he he was like eating everything, and when he was two, he fell in love with raw oysters. So he <laughs> loves everything, and he's the tallest kid in his class. Your kids should hang out with J M Hirsch's kids or kid. Uh, they have they have the most interesting flavors. <laughs> really. Absolutely. Of course, JM's kids wear a monocle to school, but that's the other thing. <laughs> I love how he made his one son is like his, it's like plural. <laughs> he is probably the, the the child of two, though. He's he's a very interesting Aww. kid. He's awesome. Hey, we got a we got a we got a question from uh, Joy Harris turned it uh, tuned in on YouTube. What's up, Joy? Joy um, she's, been, she's been coming around like every week, which is awesome. I know. Uh, tuned in late, so I don't know if you covered this. Uh, well, I'm kind of adding a couple words there. What are your top three ingredients for Asian cooking? Oh, that's easy. Okay. So do you know how, you know how um, Cajun Creole cooking has the, the trinity? So that's, uh, help me out, green pepper, onion, and celery? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's the holy trinity. Well, in, in um, Chinese cooking and a lot of Asian cooking, it's different. It's ginger, garlic, green onion those three ingredients and then that's the holy trinity that in terms of like aromatics almost all Chinese cooking has those three elements and most of Asia cooking has those three elements in it and um, so if that you can find anywhere what I would add to that is the soy sauce and fish sauce and oyster sauce those those three sauces that you can purchase Usually at most grocery stores, but um, with those three sauces and those three aromatics, you can cook any type of Asian dish. Do you have a particular type of oyster sauce that you like, a brand? Yeah, it's the one with, it's Lee Kum Ki, but it's, they have two different brands. They have the Panda brand, and they have the brand that has the woman and the boy in a boat with oysters. Oh, buy the buy the one with the label that shows the woman in the boat and the boy in a boat with oysters. <laughs> Don't buy the panda brand. The reason why is the. Are panda we brand talking metaphorically now, or no? Just, I'm oh, talking okay. for real. Okay. 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 Uh, the it's more expensive that woman in the boy in the boat with oysters. It's more expensive because it has real oyster. I want to say extracts, but it's not really. I mean, that sounds really weird to extract right. oysters. But it has real oyster in it, and versus the Panda brand has flavoring. So you want to get the real stuff. And if you think having oyster sauce is really strange, trust me, you will not taste oysters whatsoever. Well, I hey guys. love oyster sauce, but I've tried some at the supermarket, and it's just not very good. So I'll try that brand. I'm sure it will be better. I'm so sorry to interrupt. The woman, the boy, and the oysters in a boat. I, I just... 
I just realized that our, our, our Hangout toolbox within our Hangout was not updating with our questions from the actual Google event page. So okay. I went there before we got off to make sure we got all of our folks and our peeps. Uh, uh, Mona Holmes said, now that's how you do a Hangout with a glass of wine. That's right. Exactly. Uh, Julie Day. No, or a Daly, or is, it Di is it Julie Diley? Is that how you say her last name? Diley? Daily. 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 Oh, the Daily. Daily. E I is Hey, okay, that's good to know. Uh, Julie is like waving hi. Christy Clark is also waving hi. Rebecca, um, Linda Mood is I'm in. Popsicles wine, yes. Uh, let's see. Is Jeff, uh, you, uh, Julie said you're asking all the right questions. You Paul better Pins. say how. That's all I got to tell you. Just I'm not say how. <laughs> You went, you went to the hua and then you backed away. You should take back to Coolsville. <laughs> Paul, Paul Ben says, I am getting into Asian cooking a lot now and loving it. So I want to make sure everyone knew that on Google Plus, we wanted to make sure we got to some of those questions. And just when you checked in, we want to make sure you, you know we love you. So, all right. So we have like maybe like two more minutes to kind of hang out, and obviously. Oh my God, the stress of the last two minutes. I know. You, do do? you know, why don't we? Why don't we spend the next couple minutes just talking about? Uh, you know, we we should make Renee feel really bad that next week she's not going to be able to join us at Jaden's fabulous food blogger conference that's happening in Orlando. So, um, Renee, yeah, do you want to kind of? Kitchen party. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to give us sort of like a little bit of an overview of, of what we can expect, what Jeff and I will be eating? Renee, time out. T can I fly you out? What? What? Join us? What are you guys doing? We're like hanging out. Okay. No one told me, but that's okay. You, are you free Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Uh, I don't know. I might have if to work. Are, it depends on what my. <laughs> okay. If you are. Call me. I will fly you out. We're doing food blog forum. Okay. Uh, literally, we'll I'll fly you out. No, you well, don't have to do that. I have I have one word for you, Renee. Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. You have no kids. You might not like Disney. <laughs> food blog forum is happening next week, and we're doing another food blog forum in Asheville next year. Asheville. Ooh. Where is Asheville? Ooh. Is that Asheville, North Carolina? What? Oh, North Carolina. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm not Where do you live you. in Mongolia? I don't go to the planning south. right now. Oops, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to announce that. Whoops. Um, but you know what? I do have something to announce. On Saturday, I am on Recipe Rehab. It's um, I I tape four shows with Recipe Rehab, which is a national show. Yeah. Um, and that's on Saturday, and I think in our time in East Coast, uh, in our Tampa area, it's like in the morning. And but what channel I'm on is that? ABC. There you go. I'm on ABC, and that's on Saturday morning. Um, it's called Recipe Rehab. And will you be tweeting live? Will you be like doing like a, while it runs, will you be doing like a Twitter chat? You know, the funny thing is, I don't watch myself on television. I don't know, it's a, a thing. I just ignore it once it comes on. Um, and I rarely, rarely ever tout what I'm doing on television, but I think this is an awesome show. Um, the show is families submit their favorite recipe, and it's like 10,000 calories. And then two chefs will remake the recipe and make it much healthier. And then the family will actually cook the recipe and then, then decide on which they like better. And what I love about the show is that the family actually cooks the recipe. Versus just chefs cooking, say, "Oh, you can do this and this and this and this and this," um, but the family—it's real world. The family actually cooks the recipe and they decide which one they like better. And I think um, tomorrow on, on on Saturday, I actually lose the challenge, but I want you to watch oh. it. <laughs> oh, oh! I think it's the pizza challenge, and I lose that one. Yeah, but aren't but, you a winner anyway? Like, regardless, making it to the game is the is the winning thing. Oh. Yes, I'm a winner. <laughs> winner. <laughs> so if if we have any more questions, you can always use the hashtag Kitchen Party. Jaden will, uh, if you find her on Twitter at Steamy Kitchen. Uh, let me just make sure I just got a tweet that came in. Oh, then Sandy just tweeted out Food Blog Forum. Yay! Um, Yay. If where can people find you, Jaden, online? Because if if someone's new checking this out, uh, where where should they go? Uh. You want to come over for dinner? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> online. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's all Steamy Kitchen. SteamyKitchen.com, Twitter Steamy Kitchen, Facebook Steamy Kitchen. I don't do a whole lot on Google, uh, Google Plus, but those are my uh, Twitter and Facebook are my weapons of choice and on my blog. <laughs> hey, Which is why I said at the beginning, there's so much opportunity at every, every you know, at every point for new food bloggers to make their mark and mm -hmm. create a you know business out of their food blog because there's new technology all the time new apps all the time pinterest do you remember when P pinterest watch was... your mouth yeah I heard, I heard. <laughs> actually but someone's all... doing a hangout someone's doing a hangout called the pinterest show and it's not pinterest and i'm like how is she doing that how is she getting away with it would be like me saying the facebook show it would... i would think they would sue me Somebody at, somebody at kitchen.com is probably mad at us. So. <laughs> hey, uh, Melissa Taylor, who actually called in one, she said that she had tried to get into Food Blogger Forum uh, and couldn't because she didn't find out about it in time. Can she email you oh. so that next year she can make sure that she's at least notified or at least at, in the beginning of the line or at least top Absolutely. of mind? Absolutely. Okay, totally. good. Yay! All right, guys. Anything else you want to end with? Renee, no, Jeff? but I have. I think I have another T-shirt to give away. Oh, you know, do you, do you, do you want to give it away to a new person, or do you want to give it away to someone else who called? A new person. Yeah. Uh, how do you want to? How do you want them to win? I don't know. You just. <laughs> <laughs> you just tell me who the winner is. How, how about? Uh, let's see. Let's let's. Okay. Is there is there a trivia question that they could tweet in our kitchen party hashtag that they would could guess about you? Like, could you give them like three? Like, is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or so I don't know. What, what do you guys think? A, the fifteenth person. The fifteenth person. Okay, the fifteenth person tweet. who what about somebody tweets. Tweeting, somebody is tweeting a, or a photo of a dish that they made from the cookbook. Hmm. That, that may take some time. Oh, okay. That, might take that may some take time. some time. Okay, yeah, how about this? I, uh, the fifteenth person. How how about that? Okay, how about the fifteenth person that tweets uh, at Steamy Kitchen with the hashtag Kitchen Party will win the T-shirt and the cookbook. So it has to be fifteen tweets, and the last tweet is Mama uh, Caruso one. So from there, I will. I gotta, I gotta remember. I gotta keep these in order. I was, I was told there would be no math. <clears throat> so you, I'm and you can, you can, you can, you can, you can tweet again. You, you don't have to wait for other people just in case, because okay, it is the end of the show. Some people do sign out. How about you just show up at Babette's doorstep? The what? first person that shows up, yeah, person. Show up at Babette's and say, "I love vegans." <laughs> Oh wait! Oh wait! We got we got a whole bunch. Oh no! Or okay. lion tacos. Walk up to old Babette the next time you see her. Say lion tacos. Lion tacos. <sighs> I can't hey, tell if the kitchen party. I'm gonna be in Tampa thing. soon. Will you take me there and we'll have I lion will. tacos? Absolutely. Hey, I heard I'll they have kangaroo taco. tacos. They do. They have zebra tacos too. They have beaver tacos. Okay. Tacos. So guys, just so you know, I have no my, further comment at this time. My Twitter isn't refreshing at all. I can't Mine tell it either. I hate it when my Twitter isn't fresh. Yeah, that's really weird. That's very strange. No one's uh, watching at this why point. Why don't we? If it was, if it no. was you and I, I would have responded with something. I else. know, I know. Well, okay, we'll do it over tacos. How about that? Why don't we do this? Why don't we have someone call in? We'll have someone call in. We'll have some, first, We'll do the number. First person, call in. Get to the T-shirt. Come on, people. I love, I love okay. Okay. Well, to make it fair, well, the fifteenth well, person yeah. and the first. Person to call in. All right, so just in case they're already starting, I love how we're gonna all sit here and wait. <laughs> you people are making. Okay, so let's talk about something else. Let's 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 talk about uh, what? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> What's the junk food you, know you eat? Jaden, I would love to talk about if you wouldn't mind. Um, uh, several years ago, after I met you, you told me about your vision board and how that helped guide you to uh, your steamy kitchen oh, empire. And I think people would love to hear about that. Um, I always believe in having two things, um, a motto for who you are, who, what you stand for. I mean, you, you can, you, you ask people 
what do you stand for? And a lot of people will answer with religion, you know, a verse from, from the Bible. But, um, I, you know, I, I honestly believe that every person has something that they stand for and what they believe in. Mine is magical moments. So how can I create a magical moment for myself, for my family, for my friends? And another friend of mine was, um, her, her motto was, simple pleasures deeply felt. Hmm. And to me, that was incredibly powerful to have a personal motto that was simply simple pleasures deeply felt and that she lived for day by day that she thought first thing in the morning and last thing at night I, I just believe that everyone should have something that they you know that is of their soul um, hey Jaden we actually have, we do have a phone call but it doesn't that sounds like porn <laughs> like porn deeply pleasure deeply pleasure yeah she looked uh, she must have been hot yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Which is really weird. I know. I know. <laughs> Can I show my vision board real quick? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's, okay. Is so it? I also believe I'm a very, very visual person. I also believe in creating a vision board. And this one's mine. Whoever's calling, please keep calling until we answer. Hold on. Or you can answer, but then tell them. We'll, we'll hold on. So whoever's calling, don't talk yet. Your truth is upside down. Yeah. But basically, um, yeah. it, we took magazines, mm -hmm. dozens of uh, like a, oh, I you know I think I had I had ten and Scott had um, six. There's not as many magazines for guys as there are for women, but we took magazines and we just went through them and just cut it just like when you were in elementary school and created you know a collage, create a collage of what you want and what's important to you and what who you are and what you what you want to build and that became my business plan for steamy kitchen I hung that on the wall it's framed it's on you know I, I've hit every one of these things except for one corner can you guess what corner that is Wait, the one with Twinkies you, you can't want guess it's upside down <laughs> one corner is can you see it Princess, Princess of pleasure? pleasure? No! <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, you saw Good that? times. No, <laughs> no really. No, it's, it's that corner. I'd like it's to see the crown corner. for that, by the way. Right? It's, it's I'd awesome. like to see the crown. Um, I've got grace in the middle. Yes. Grace in the and middle. Truth. And truth. Um, I've got food. I've got delicious food, magical setting, passion in the kitchen. And this is the corner that I haven't yet been able to do you see all those hot women yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. princess of pleasure i believe me i'm yeah. all over no, this I'm a princess of pleasure but yeah do you see this girl right here i got yeah. her from, one of I them looks like renee's from. old avatar could you yeah. hold that still because i'm going to do a screen grab here i'm going to do a screen grab <laughs> okay go ahead that's fine pleasure. Got it. Hey, um, guys, but everything let's, like beautiful let's take the phone call purpose oh, yeah. uh, phone call yeah, yeah we'll take the phone call real quick Hello, you're on the air with Kitchen Party. Bad bad, it's Mitch Jenkins. Hello. <gasps> oh my God, Jazz Hands. Jazz Hands are back. <laughs> What's up? Where are you calling in from? Well, I'm actually in Seattle, but I think I'm representing LA today since I'm from Ooh, LA. Awesome. Ooh. Yay! So you won. Woohoo! <laughs> where, where, where's the first place you're going to wear that t-shirt? Say that again? Where, where's the first place you're going to wear that t-shirt to? <laughs> well, it might end up being a workout shirt, but I will be a blogger soon, so maybe I'll have to take it with me. Oh, I love it! Yay! I, I, I think we should create t-shirts that have a hashtag princess of pleasure. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely. P Oh, pay. <laughs> Pop. You guys are hilarious. So uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna email me or send me a tweet or send Jaden an email. Jaden, what is your email address for the for the cookbook and for the steamykitchen.com? It's best to just send it to me because then we don't get lost in communication. Uh, Jaden at steamykitchen.com. 
I got Hello. Melissa Taylor's email, so I'll send you. I'll send you your. Uh, what did Melissa Taylor win? Was that the T-shirt or the book? She won the book. Um, yeah, I think. Were you giving away she both? Was the first person. Or were you giving away yeah, one? You know or what? Other? Whoever wins, I'm just going to give away both. So it doesn't awesome. matter. Awesome. Easier. And we haven't done it. We haven't had a tweet yet. We haven't had the. the I mean, we've had a couple tweets since, like five. But okay, we, the next tweet wins a duck. <gasps> a duck? <laughs> a live duck? She's it's got a, a live. Duck. She's got live baby ducks at her house. Yeah, I don't think you can. Yes, you can. You can't. You can't. You can't do a contest with something alive. <laughs> I think that's against the rules. Okay. Like, what? We're giving a. We're giving away a lion. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's a rubber ducky, we have a deal. James, no, been, James has been posting little baby duck porn all week. It's been uh, really kind of uh, very, very cute. But yeah. Let's see if I can get a tweet in here. Where are my people? Use the subject. Use kitchen party. Um, all right. So before we before we end, um, any words of wisdom from like. What like maybe three things not to do if you're starting Asian cuisine? Like, what are the three mistakes most people do? So that the folks who are watching this are like, oh, maybe that's what I'm doing. Uh, the first thing is don't use too much oil because the more oil, the more cooking oil that you use in your stir fries, the, the greasier and uh, I don't. You just feel horrible when you everything's coated in grease. So that's the first thing. You know, there's so many not, there's so many things that are. I don't know. I don't. I, it's hard for me to say because I always think of things that you should do, not versus things that you shouldn't do. And so it's really hard for me to things that you, you know, think of things that you shouldn't do. Yeah. Okay, how about things that you should do? Yeah. You will, don't overcook your meats and don't overcook your vegetables. I mean, but you can say that of any cuisine. Do, you have a walk, right? Don't you have a walk? I do. I do have a steamy kitchen walk, but it's sold out. We sold all of them out. And I don't know. I'm still looking for a new manufacturer that will create um, a, another walk for me. Um, but you don't need a walk. You just need a saute pan. Something, a pan with high sides really is all you need. If you don't want to buy anything else, get a pan with high sides. Or if you want to get a walk, um, get something that I know I'm going to say something that so many uh, – Chinese chefs are going to um, call me on. But um, I say get a nonstick because most people, the way they cook, nonstick is better. It's easier to take care of. Mm -hmm. You're more likely to use it again. And you can cook great food in nonstick woks. You just have to control the heat. And there's proper ways of cooking with lower heat and creating great stir fries. If you get a traditional wok that a lot of traditional chefs, Chinese chefs recommend, you're going to get so frustrated because everything sticks. It's going to rust. You're not going to be able to take care of it. It's a pain in the butt. So I vote for what's easy. You know, I love what you said about how like the, the likelihood of you using it more. I, I just love that practical common sense. I get blasted so much by some of these traditional, uh, you know, authentic Asian authors. They're like, how can, how dare you say that people should buy nonstick? And I'm like, well, how dare you tell them to create, you know, to buy some, invest in something that creates so much more work than what they're willing to invest in? Absolutely, I think that's a great moment to end on. Yep. Uh, Jaden, where 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 can so people can find you on Twitter at Steamy Kitchen? They can find you steamykitchen.com and anywhere else that you want to send them to. I was gonna blurt out my address, but I will. Oh, no. your home address? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do no, that. don't do that. You, but, you can um, blurt out Jeff's uh, blurt food blog forum next week. Uh, I'll be at Blogger Food hosting the party with Ree Drummond and Elise Bauer. And I'll be at um, blog her in Chicago doing the the business portion. I don't remember what it's called. Business portion before the main event. And I'll be in London at Food Blogger Connect. And next year in Asheville for Food Blog Forum. Awesome. Uh, Jeff and Renee, anything you want to add? Nope. Looking forward to next week. Yeah.
will be great. Cocktails in hand, my friends. I'm going I know, to... Renee. If you're free, I'm flying you out. <laughs> you know, our guest next Thursday is supposed to be Chef Brian Malarkey. Oh. How about that? Right. How about that kitchen party? Awesome. I should have said Ooh, that at the beginning the of the show. <laughs> yeah, Great. no, where that's he, he's supposed to be on, which will be interesting because I'm flying into I mean, I'm flying into Orlando that day, and I'm like, I hope I get to the hotel in time. So it'll be interesting. You guys may have to like take over the show. <laughs> we, we, we shall see. All okay. right, guys. Jaden, thank oh, you so much. We could be much. on. It's a small world. Right. Ooh. <laughs> so. Around and around and around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you later. Once again, Kitchen Party airs every Thursday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. If you have a question throughout the week, just use the Kitchen Party hashtag, and we will get back to you. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining us, and follow uh, at Bakespace on Twitter. Go to Bakespace.com on uh, Google+. Plus. Go to Cookbook Cafe, which is our new publishing platform for cookbooks, where anyone can publish a cookbook as both an ebook and native iPad app. And read the Tampa Tribune. Read the LA Times food section. Yes. Go to steamykitchen.com. All right, guys. We will see you later. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. You know what would be funny? If you know how long it took to like start the show in the beginning. It'd be really funny if it takes a long time to end the show. <laughs> and we're like, oh, I can't do jazz hands anymore. No more jazz hands. How do you know when we're not live? <laughs> oh, it'll say off air. <laughs> it'll, say, it'll say off air at the time. It'll say, like, see where it says at the top. You're ruining air? this beautiful music. Shh. <laughs>